This video will cover the topic, Evaluating an Expression with a Negative Exponent, Positive Fraction Base. I'm not sure I remember how to work with negative exponents. When dealing with negative exponents, it's important to remember the following rule. a raised to the power of negative n equals 1 over a raised to the power of n. Since we can think of a as a over 1, we can rewrite our rule as a over 1 raised to the power of negative n equals 1 over a raised to the power of n. Extending this rule even further, our denominator does not have to equal 1. As long as the fraction a over b is a non-zero rational number and n is a whole number, we have the following. a over b raised to the power of negative n equals b over a raised to the power of positive n, which is equal to b raised to the power of n divided by a raised to the power of n. Okay, so this rule tells us that we can take a fraction raised to a negative exponent and rewrite it as the reciprocal of the original fraction now raised to a positive exponent. Exactly. These are the types of problems we'll be dealing with in this topic. Let's try an example. We're given the expression 9 fifths raised to the power of negative 1 and asked to rewrite it without an exponent. Applying our rule, we can rewrite this as 5 ninths raised to the power of positive 1, which is equal to 5 raised to the first power divided by 9 raised to the first power. 5 raised to the first power is 5, and 9 to the first power is 9. This tells us that 9 fifths raised to the power of negative 1 can be rewritten as 5 ninths. Why don't we try another one? Let's rewrite the expression 2 sevenths raised to the power of negative 2 without an exponent. Where do you think we should start? Well, according to our rule, we can rewrite this as 7 over 2 squared, which is equal to 7 squared over 2 squared. 7 squared is 49, and 2 squared is 4. Good job! This tells us that 2 sevenths raised to the power of negative 2 can be rewritten as 49 over 4. Okay, so to evaluate an expression with a negative exponent, we can apply the rule a over b to the negative n equals b over a to the positive n to rewrite our expression with a positive exponent. From there, we can simplify the expression. That's exactly right. Great work!